Okay, I just wanted to show you a couple more basic things before we start embroidering. Floss is made up of six smaller strands that you can pull apart uh, to get thinner stitches. So say if you only wanted like, if I say two strands, then you would pull two strands away and then you would only use those two strands. Um, on the pattern, I have indicated on the small little branches of the back stitch, you would use only two strands, and for the, the small French knots, you would only use two strands. Otherwise, you're just going to be using the full six strands of embroidery floss. So you wanna probably, if you've never embroidered before, you wanna start getting used to doing some stitches, and so you would wanna practice. If you have embroidered before, you can go ahead and skip this video. Um, I secured the back of my embroidery floss with a knot, you can do that different ways, but that is the easiest for me. And you wanna bring it from the back of the embroidery to the front. And so you can see my knot there in the back. So I'm just gonna start out showing you the easiest stitch to do, which is a running stitch. Some people like to um, thread their needle all the way through like this. I just prefer to go down, pull it tight, then come up through the back and make the next stitch. And you wanna keep them about even, which those are not, um, but you want the space in between the stitches to be about the same length as the stitches themselves and have to each stitch be as close as possible to the size that you want. And the great thing about embroidery is that you can always take your stitches back out and redo them. So just come up through the back and down through the front. And that is a basic running stitch, which I love to do on projects. It adds just a nice little touch of something. Um, and then when you're done with your stitches, you can secure it by threading the needle back through. And if you have a long length of stitches, you can just keep threading it back through the stitches and then cut it off. Or if you have just a short amount of stitches, sometimes I like to just tie a knot like that, and then trim off the end. Um, so that is the running stitch, and that's a good one to practice with. I'm going to tie another knot, and sometimes I like to tie two, just for fun, to make sure that it actually stays in there. And I will show you how to do the next easiest stitch, which is just a called a back stitch. So you bring your needle up through the front again. You go down, just like you started with the running stitch, but in, and then you'll come up again, just like you did with the running stitch. But instead of going back forward, you go back into the one you came up through previously, hence the name back stitch. So again, Come up through the floss or through the fabric and then go back down. So those are just some good stitches to practice with and play around with before you actually start doing the more complicated stitches.